thought I'd have a quick chat about some steering systems today. Um, this boat here is in for uh, an upgrade from um, a traditional uh, rotary helm steering to, uh, to a no feedback system, which is the uh, really what's recommended for uh, an outboard motor. The years gone by, we used to get away with uh, these standard rotary steering um, systems. Uh, on the outboards, but uh, now it's not recommended. Uh, now they're recommending, and I rec have always recommended uh, the no feedback system, um, NFB. If you're shopping for a new steering system, if your steering's getting really tight and heavy, um, and you're running an outboard on a uh, without power steering or hydraulic, this is a cable operated system. Um, highly recommend the NFB system. It's very little bit more money. It's not very expensive um, relative uh, if you've got to do an upgrade. Uh, this one um, has not gotten stiff. Uh, the customer just recognizes how dangerous it is. So we're, um, so I thought I'd give you a little demonstration, a little before and after. Uh, the uh, standard rotary steering it's got a helm up forward and a cable that runs with a push-pull system back here. Um, real basic, nice lightweight steering, real simple, easy to install, uh, not a lot of work. Um, but you have to always hold on to your steering wheel uh, because the motor will push it around from side to side. Uh, if you hit a if you hit a wave or something and you lose control, you lose your grip on the steering wheel, the motor will literally just flop right over, hard over, and flip the boat around into a real tight turn or flip the boat over. Uh, probably in a boat like this would probably throw you right out. Uh, it's extremely dangerous. So we're gonna upgrade this one to um, a C-Star NFB system. Um, it's a pretty simple, upgrade this uh, this unit here is the helm um, this goes behind the dash the steering wheel mounts on here cable goes in uh, we re we're going to replace the cable as well for the the new upgraded helm uh, and uh, then we won't have any of this feedback to your steering wheel so with a no feedback system you can let go of the steering wheel and the boat will continue tracking wherever the steering wheel was pointed. It only turns the motor when you turn the wheel. There's a clutch system in the, uh, in the helm here. So they're a nice compact system. Um, they generally bolt right into the existing holes unless it's a much older boat. Um, but the, more, the, the, the newer stuff, uh, it's, uh, it's, they all have standardized brackets now. Um, this is a Teleflex system, uh, now owned by uh, Dometic. Um, there is also uh, Uflex is another system that we use quite often, uh, very similar. Um, and they come in both rotary and uh, the NFB. Just for reference, uh, the rotary systems are still available, uh, only recommended for um, power assisted steering in stern drives because you've got a power ram back there that uh, isolates the uh, the load of the stern drive so um, so you don't need the uh, the no feedback system for the power steering um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap all this out and then uh, I'll set the camera back up again and we'll do a uh, uh, I'll just show you a little demonstration on um, how it doesn't uh, feed back to your steering wheel. So I've got the uh, new helm in, non-feedback helm um, and cable installed. Took me a couple hours. Um, so if you were to do it at home yourself, if you allowed yourself four hours on a boat like this, a little open boat to uh, change out your cable, uh, that would be quite acceptable. Um, now, when we uh, push on the motor here, you can see that the steering wheel does not turn whatsoever. There's, uh, I can't push on this 
um, and uh, even turn, turn it manually here. Um, these uh, no feedback helms, they're a little bit heavier on the wheel. Um, they don't spin quite so free, but uh, they uh, are far, far safer and uh, no feedback from the motor. So if you lose your grip on the steering wheel, uh, it's not going to uh, go hard over. Take your hand off the wheel for a moment. Uh, it'll keep tracking wherever it's pointed. So uh, that is the difference between a no feedback helm and a, uh, a regular rotary helm. So thanks for watching.